Number four, the angular position of a point on a rotating wheel is given by theta equals to two plus four times t squared plus two times t to the third, where theta is in radians and t is in seconds. At t equals to zero, what are letter A, the point's angular position? And letter B, its angular velocity. Letter C, what is its angular velocity at t equals to four seconds? Letter D, calculate it its angular acceleration at t equals to 2 seconds, letter e, is it, is its angular acceleration constant? So we have some equation here that gives us the angular position and we need the angular speed, the angular velocity and the angular acceleration. So that's what I'm going to do first. So just remember that we can find the angular velocity by taking the derivative of the angular position in respect with time. And we can find the angular acceleration by taking the derivative of the angular velocity in respect with time. So that's what we are going to do first and then we just solve letter A to E. Okay, so let's take this derivative first. So this derivative, so this goes away, it's 8t plus 6t squared. So if we take the derivative of this function over here, it's going to be 8 plus 12t. So this is the function for the angular velocity and this is the function for the angular acceleration. Okay, so let's go. Letter A, at t equals to zero, what's the point angular position? So for letter A, we have to calculate the position for t equals to zero and this will be equal to two plus four times zero square plus two times zero to the third and this is equal to two let's see it is in radians two radians don't forget to include the unit here for letter b we want the points the points angular velocity at t equals to zero so we want omega of zero this will be 8 times 0 plus 6 times 0 squared and this will be equal to 0 radians per second. For letter C, the angular velocity at t equals to 4 second. So we want omega of 4, this is equal to 8 times 4 plus 6 times 4 squared and this will be equal to 128 radians per second. So that's the answer of letter C. For letter D, we want the angular acceleration at t equals to 2 seconds. So we want the alpha of 2. This is equal to 8 plus 12 times 2. And this will give us uh, 32 radians per second square uh, okay uh, that's it for letter d and letter e is its angular acceleration constant of course not because the angular acceleration depends on the time so for different times we have different angular accelerations so it is not constant so not constant so that's the answer of letter E.